be inspired the one I do in Philly called the Roundup Folder Fest. It's kind of three days because you have to spread the drinking out. Uh, <laughs> on Friday, we, we climb the Maniac Wall and go to a pub for a little while. Then Saturday, we take trains out somewhere and then bike back from it to show how folders can do that. We have a couple folder people talking. I'm not sure if Peter Wright's going to make it down on Saturday to talk. He will. He promised whatever he skipped today, he's going to tell us about when it comes to Philadelphia. It has that effect on people. Great. Yeah. We're also going to, uh, the Brompton has finally hired a North American agent who's going to try and really get Brompton to work here. He's going to be down on Saturday and Sunday. And we have, uh, there's a bike designed in England called a Mezzo. Some people say it made a Mezzo the Brompton. But it's an, it's an interesting new bike, and this will be sort of a, de a U.S. debut of the bike. They're going to be possibly importing it here. Uh, is everybody familiar with Bromptons? No. No. Or is, no. Okay, no. if you don't know anything, raise your hand. No, no. Just, uh, until recently, with the invention of the Bike Friday ticket, which even outfolds this, but Bromptons are kind of famous. Uh, they have a pretty respectable ride. They're pretty well made. They're also made in uh, West London, England. But what they're really up there for is their ability to turn into a package pretty quick. Ah, I'm tired today. Recently, I was at a beer fest, which could explain or something. Let's see. <laughs> you tried that with a regular bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's just not as dramatic when you close your eyes and feel like you know, then you have to count to 100. It could be harder to tie this than to do the bike. Okay, let's see. He peaked years ago. If I get on in the ride, that was my next thought. Put my two feet. Anyhow, if you get a chance to go down to Philadelphia, June 5, 6, and 7, uh, besides what we're doing, we're kind of sneaky. We're doing it on the same weekend as the U.S. Bike Pro Championships. It's a big road race with the Mavi cars, the whole deal, a bike expo. We'll be there with a bunch of Bromptons and also with the Bach Feats with a keg of beer in the front, etc. We also do something called musical folders. We go out on folders, every mile you move over to one different kind of folder. So at the end of the ride you've ridden six or seven different oh, folders. Yeah. So we do a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, also, Philadelphia desperately needs tourism. So if you come down to Philadelphia, June 5, 6, or 7, any of those days, uh, trophybikes.com has a little bit more detail and so on. If you don't have a folder, one will be appointed for you for at least to try out, and uh, it'll be interesting in another way too because it seems to bring out, unlike today, the Roundup seems to bring out people who seek to convert you. So if you show up in a Brompton, you'll meet a devout Friday person who'll start to, to you know, knock on your door and hand you stuff. So it's kind of interesting that way. How far are you from the train station? We are a two block walk from 30th Street Amtrak Station. And you cannot go more than two blocks in any direction without hitting a coffee shop or a bar or a bike path. So, thank you. Some of the bikes, 
but it opens up really quickly and easily. That's it. So you're ready to go. And um, it's really light. It's got a belt drive. Um, and this is essentially, I think it's exactly the same thing as what's on a, a fan belt in the car. So if it ever did break, you could just buy one at a parts store. But it's, I think these are rated for 100,000 miles in a car. So um, I've had it for eight years and I've never done anything to it, maintenance wise at all. Nothing. Uh, I've never even got a flat tire on it. So uh, it's, pretty, um, it's pretty good. It's a little unstable, you know. But you get used to it pretty quickly, so uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, if you're, I'm six foot three, so if you're tall, this bike is not going to fit you. It doesn't fit me. But um, but as you see, I can ride it. I can do it. But it's, the seat's a little bit too low. It doesn't go any higher than this. It's only got about that much room to adjust it. But um, what? I think they're 800. Um, the new ones have. Um, this one's painted. The new ones aren't painted. The new ones have spoke wheels instead of plastic. I think they have drum brakes too. All the components and everything's been upgraded. So it's like I said, the new ones are like 800 to 900, and then you can spend a little bit more if you want to put some accessories on it. But and then they have the new ones. The, the handlebars come out and fold in, and the pedals fold up. It's like I said, mine's mine's one of the first ones. I didn't get any of those accessories. Yeah, the single, single speed, right? Brian? Single, one, one speed. So uh, I thought I was going to have to walk the bridge, but I did both fine. So, I mean, I hardly ever take it on hills, so I don't really know. Anyway, start a bike. Start a bike up here.